Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and today we're going to be hunting in Quattro Kalinas. We're going to be looking for our Red Deer Zone since the June 28th update. And a lot has changed on this map. Quattro was reset, so if you were doing a grind here in Quattro, you are going to have to relook and rediscover all of your Red Deer drink zones in order to continue your Red Deer grind. Now, they do have the same drink time as before. That changed with the February 22nd update and they drink from 6 or 6.30 until 10 or 10.30. They just have the one drink time. So in today's video, I'm gonna go over tips for finding your zones. I am going to share with you a hotspot map at the end of the video showing you exactly where all of my Red Deer drink zones are. Now, you guys won't have exactly the same zones as me, but they should be similar and hopefully that will help Help you to find your drink zones here in Quattro and quickly set up your Red Deer grind. We're also going to go over some grinding tips to help you with your grind. Let's head straight into it. Now let me know in the comments guys, do you have any great ones? What is your favorite great one to grind for and your favorite great one map? I do answer comments. I try to get through all of them if you can believe it. I really do. All right, let's do it. Now you can look for your zones guys after Red Deer have stopped drinking and what you'd basically do is run the circumference of any lake and pick up all the need zone indicators and you can find all kinds of zones without seeing a single deer. So just to show you a setup here guys, I have my tent right here, I spawn in here, I run literally 50 meters at the most, jump right into my tripod and there are my deer right there. Now I am on the same side of the lake, I could shoot across but this way I have less time, less distance for me to run over and pick them up so this is the best way to set up because it is the most efficient. So once you've found all your zones and set up with tents and tripods, now it's time to start the grind and this is the fun part. So basically what you want to do is go from zone to zone and kill as many stags as you possibly can and I leave the fours and below. Sometimes I even leave the small fives. Now if you do end up with zones with only small stags in them, I would actually pull up my tent and tripod and set up somewhere else and leave them there. There is going to be somewhat of a balance of respawns on your map. They aren't all going to be tiny and by leaving small ones on the map that is going to force spawn bigger deer onto your map. So that's only going to help you. Now one thing that the update definitely changed is that red deer and all animals actually now drink a lot closer to the water. They aren't so much up in the trees so they are a lot easier to spot. The one drawback to that is that we probably will have a lot more floaters when we are doing the grind but for the most part I think that is a very welcome change. So basically guys step one of your great one grind is to find all of your drink zones. You don't need to worry about feed zones or rest zones. It's only the drink zones that we are worried about. Now the more zones you find the better everything is going to respawn for you so you want to find as many zones as you possibly can. And I have a lot of people ask me, lady, how do I know when I have all of my zones? And that is a very good question. Now it is very hard to tell. I don't know exactly how many zones we should have here in Quattro. I do have close to 60 zones right now. I know I don't have all of them. I am going to continue to look for them. Now I understand there are around 65 drink zones in Quattro for Red Deer. So I should have most of them, but not all of them. So I am going to keep looking. So once you have found your zones, you want to set up your very best zones with 10 tents and with tripods. I drop my tents 250 meters away from the zone and my tripods 175 meters. The reason I put my tripod 175 meters is that allows me to run right into the tripod without spooking any deer and start shooting. You want your grind to be very quick and very efficient. The more deer you can get down in the shortest amount of time, the faster you're going to put that great one in your lodge. Now we only get 16 tents and 32 tripods max for every map. So you want to use your tents for as many zones as you possibly can. You can't farm every zone. It isn't even possible. So pick your best ones that get you the most deer down in the shortest amount of time. You want your zones to be out in the open, quick and accessible. For example, you don't want to be shooting 300 meters across and then have to run all the way around to pick up your deer. That is not efficient. If you do have an amazing zone like that, then what you might want to do is have a tent where you're shooting and another one for pickup. But like I said, we don't have a lot of tents, so you want to set up at the very best spots. How many zones do you set up for? As many as you can get through in one time rotation. So the zone here is four to four and a half hours, but of course no animals show up right at the beginning. They sometimes can take quite a while to get into their zones. I set the time back to about 6.45 and even then I don't see deer right away. And that is normal. 
So when I am discovering my zones, guys, this is the loadout that I use. So I only have one weapon with me and you can use any four to eight rifle. I'm using the FL Sporter 303. That comes with the T Aurora DLC. I always carry with me all of my ammo because it is so light. So look here, 0.01 kilograms. So really, I don't worry about that too much. I have the Argus, the Gen Zero, which you don't really need when you're hunting red deer, but I just carry it on me at all times. And I do have the Hyperion. The Hyperion is what I mainly use. I only use the Argus for really, really far shots, usually on just one animal. I find with the Hyperion, you have a much better field of view. You can see so much more. It's so much better for taking down multiple animals, which is what you're doing in any Great One grind. Then I have with me the Red Deer Collar. I have the First Aid Kit and the Sense Eliminator. Neither of these are super vital, but they don't weigh a whole lot, half a kilogram, so I take them with me. I have the Apex View and the Gen Zeros, and again, you don't really need the gen zeros but that's another thing i usually carry with me at all times and then i do have room for tents and for tripods so that is my setup inventory now i do have an extra three kilograms worth of space because i am using the packed mule skill it gives you an extra three kilograms worth of carrying space without making any additional noise so i am using that to my advantage right now but if you're only working with 20 kilograms worth of space when i take out my night vision stuff i am under the 20 kilogram mark and if you would like to see where that is go in here under skills, under ambusher, and there it is there. Now the one drawback, and I, I don't usually advocate for letting players have more than the skills and perks that we already have, and the reason I don't is because we don't want the game to be too easy. When it gets too easy, it loses the challenge, and challenge is fun. But you can't have pack mule and disturb vegetation at the same time, and I really wish that we could. We lost the ability to see fur types with the last update. I think it was given to us an error. We had it for, I don't know, six months, something like that. I can't remember how long. Let me know in the comments if you know how long we had that for. So I do not have disturbed vegetation. I may change that at some point, but right now I love having three extra kilograms worth of space. Now let's have a look at this lake. Now finding all your zones is time consuming. It is going to take you many hours. And this here is a zone indicator. So just by picking this up, even with no red deer here, if you have never picked it up before, it will give you the zone. And it also will tell you, as you can see in the top right hand corner, how many deer are in this zone. Now you can have more than one herd in a zone and what I'm doing when I do my grind is I am killing as many stags as I can but I am only killing level fives and above. And the reason I'm doing that is it really seems to help spawn diamonds faster and get that great one on the map a lot faster than when I kill all of them. My first grind, I did shoot every single red deer. It took me 4,400 killed stags to spawn my first great one red deer. Then after that, I stopped shooting the level fours and below and I never had a grind more than 2,200 kills after that, the lowest being only 498 kills. I did have an initial spawn, but that had nothing to do with me. That was just pure luck. So definitely check for zones on this lake and this is a perfect lake to drop a tent. Now this lake right here guys, before the update, this lake was absolutely loaded with red deer. It still is a hot spot, but it doesn't have quite as many red deer zones. We have four now. Okay, so now we are up at the top right hand lake and this lake is loaded with red deer zones. These two zones are Iberian wolves and roe deer, but all of the rest here all the way around, those are all red deer zones. So definitely check at this lake. Now, the one thing with Quattro is there are definitely single stag zones, and when you kill a red deer from a single stag zone, what is gonna happen is that zone is going to vanish on you. You don't wanna be farming these zones if you can at all help it, because then you're gonna have to refine that zone. Now, a lot of the times they do come back in the exact same spot, but sometimes they don't, and finding zones is very time consuming. So for the most part, I don't like to farm any zones that only have one stag in them. All right, we do have some red deer drinking here. Now, when you are looking for your zones, guys, you want to basically check every water source there is on the map. Red deer can be absolutely anywhere, and there are a lot of zones on the river. I find with this update, they have congregated them, so you're going to find a bunch all in the same area, which is very sweet. This run of red deer zones is right by this outpost here. This is Cabana de la Rivera, and there also are zones up in these forks of the river as well. Now there are some lakes where you won't find any red deer at all, so you don't have to check down here at the 
bottom right lake, not a single red deer zone down here, and this lake over here, no red deer here at all as well. And some of these lakes, no red deer on this lake, and no red deer on this lake either. Those spots you don't have to check, so cross those off your list to start off with. Now you wanna do a lot of scanning, you wanna listen for mating calls and pick up tracks. And if you do find them traveling, don't shoot them, follow them to their zone and pick up their zone before you do anything. You're looking for zones to start off with and you want to find as many zones as you possibly can. If you do start your grind guys and you don't get respawns, that is the game telling you you need to find more zones and it is very time consuming finding your zones but once you do then it is time for the fun to start. Okay guys, so I have put an X on every single drink zone for Red Deer on my map. Now your map won't be exactly the same, but it definitely should be similar. So use that to help you find your Red Deer zones. Now sometimes you have to go and check certain lakes more than once. I find zones come out in stages. I really hope that helps you out guys. And I will post this map to my Discord for you to easily reference. And I'll leave the link below the video. I really hope that helps you out with your great one grind here in Quattro Kalinas, guys, and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. If you guys would like to learn everything there is to know about Red Deer Great One Grinding, I'm going to leave you here with my Red Deer playlist. Take care, guys.